right, let's see. Hey guys, my name is Sayed Faiz Hussain. I am a master's student at the Computer Graphics Technology Department. I primarily work in graphics programming and, you know, graphics pipeline, open GL, open VR, stuff like that. And, you know, I've, I've done a few projects on open GL and, you know, I just thought that why not just showcase them online. Maybe people would want to play around with the projects. So that's what brought me here. And I'm just going to put some neat stuff out there, which I have worked on before. So for today, I'm going to talk about water simulation. So in front of me, I have this implementation I've done in OpenGL and C++ of the Gerstner waves. Now, the Gerstner waves are essentially a, 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 an implementation paper done by NVIDIA. They're semi-physical, well, uh, physically based. Essentially, if you look over here, you can see that I have this quad which is texture mapped, and that quad is moving in a way that you know sort of mimics how wave physically move. Now, what is actually happening here is that that uh, three waves are superpositioned on one another, which are applied on the vertices of the texture. So in reality, the texture itself is not moving, the vertices are moving with respect to time and according to the different sort of the, the parameters set by the user or the programmer, whichever, whichever suits you. So as you can see here, these are all my different parameters, my directions for three different waves. I'm getting some information like the amplitude of the waves from the CPU side right here. These are my CPU variables and these are the rest are my GPU variables and all this code is being run on the GPU side right here and it's outputting a final position which is a superposition of all the three waves added together. Right, so this is the link to the Gerstner equation paper. Uh, it's GPU gems by NVIDIA right there. So you go down here and you can implement this paper using this equation. If you want to do like lighting or stuff like that, then you would always also need to implement this normal right here, which I haven't done because I did not really want to do that part yet. Uh, anyways, uh, so you can also find basically find this project on GitHub right here for this link rec3421 that's my username and warsim underscore modern underscore open gl so in this project i basically also am including a base underscore free plug executable file which is basically the whole project itself it runs the project uh, without you actually having to have microsoft visual studio which you probably understood by looking at the fact that i have solution files right here so uh, the version of Microsoft Visual Studio I'm using is 2019. Uh, I'm, I don't really think it's backward compatible, so you should probably use 2019 or later. Uh, besides that, uh, feel free to uh, mess around with the implementation and you know message me if you have any recommendation or any critic, uh, uh, critical analysis of the code or basically if you think there's some way I can improve on this implementation. Uh, I love talking about graphics and I'll keep posting videos on my YouTube channel and as well as my website. And you can look forward to more articles later. I won't be posting as frequently since I don't want to be some, well, I don't want to focus on YouTube that much. I have to basically work on thesis and stuff like that, but this is sort of like just a hobby. And okay, hope you enjoy. And hope you have fun playing around with this project, right? See you guys. Bye.